This tomato over here I found in my refrigerator all the way in the back. I forgot about it for a couple of weeks and now it started to develop very nice uh, mold, a very nice mold cover. And uh, I'm gonna look at this uh, mold um, under the microscope. Yes, and uh, this is uh, the fungus in close-up, uh, the white, white fluffy uh, material. Well, that's the mycelium of the fungus. Um, the mycelium is, of course, made of uh, cells, uh, which I'm going to look at right now. Um, I place a drop uh, of water on the microscope slide. This also prevents the spores a little bit from flying away. And then carefully with my tweezers, I try to take off and scratch off some of the mycelium to be, uh, to be observed. Um, it, the consistency is a little bit like cotton, not surprisingly, um, because uh, as a matter of fact, there are many long strings um, of cells. Um, and and as, as I transfer them carefully, I try to, if possible, uh, maintain the overall structure of the mycelium. Um, however, because of the high density, I do have to spread it a little bit um, on, on the slide uh, because this makes it a little bit easier to see. So um, right now I'm kind of uh, carefully uh, spreading them a little bit. Um, and uh, then, of course, uh, I have to add uh, a cover glass. This makes sure that uh, everything is nice and flat and it also makes it easier to, to focus. Um, yeah, of, there will be always a little bit, a few air bubbles, but that is uh, generally okay. And that's uh, the slide in close-up. Uh, the mycelium is uh, squashed uh, and uh, then I place it um, on the stage of the microscope. I center everything and uh, then let's have a look at it under the low magnification for X um, objective. And uh, of course, so we can see a very dense network um, of, uh, of cells, very string-like. Um, the cells are of course uh, branched uh, because that's very typical of a fungus slightly higher magnification. You can see that I'm focusing through the mycelium right now. A little bit of dust in the background, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so that is uh, with the condenser closed uh, to increase the contrast. Yet another a higher magnification here. Um, you can see that I'm focusing. Uh, that's why different layers of the mycelium move in and out of focus. Right now it's a little bit brighter because I'm opening the condenser aperture, aperture diaphragm. And uh, yes, so yet another magnification, higher magnification. Um, so far I did not see any spores, uh, but uh, that will change. Uh, later on I did find a lot of spores as well. This is now in dark field, the white uh, circles, these are ear bubbles. Um, the contrast is not very good, I have to admit. Um, it's also a little bit overexposed, the white mycelium. Um, so I played around a little bit uh, also with the condenser, uh, also with a different magnification. Um, yeah, it's a little bit out of focus, um, bad resolution. Uh, so um, I did not really consider the dark field very successful. For this reason, I switched uh, back uh, to bright field. Yeah, and here again, the slightly higher magnification um, and you can even see that there is a, a, some, some of the things, the cell organelles inside the cells. And uh, then I found something very interesting. Uh, I think this could be a sporangium, I don't know. So they might contain the spores. So it was only one of them that I found that looked like that. Um, otherwise I did not really know what the significance of this structure is. Um, uh, but uh, there where there was no mycelium, I actually did find some spores and they were kind of moving back and forth. And I think this could be because of Brownian motion, but I was not quite sure. Um, I increased the speed a little bit. I was uh, actually hoping to see them grow and uh, elongate. And some of them look like uh, they're growing a little bit, but I did not see during this short time, I did not see any change really. Um, but uh, yeah, I did find a lot of these uh, little structures here. I think they are spores. Initially, I thought they could be maybe fragments of the mycelium, um, but they were actually much uh, smaller than that. Um, so I think they might be indeed spores. Yeah, and here at a lower magnification, the 4x objective, if you move in and out of focus, you can see them actually quite better because they turn to become dark spots. Well, I think uh, I'm going to finish uh, this microscopy session for right now. I hope that you enjoyed the film and uh, 
Uh, it's quite fascinating to see uh, what you can find uh, in your everyday household, um, especially fungi um, are quite interesting to look at, uh, but uh, be careful. Um, they're not very healthy, you should not inhale the spores and certainly should not eat the tomato, not even if you cut away the fungus, because what they do is they produce toxins and poisons that are released into the tomato, um, and uh, so even if you cut it away, you should not eat the remaining part of the tomato either. Okay, I wish you a nice day. All the best. Bye-bye.